Hi everybody, welcome back to 7 Days to Die Off for 19, episode 56 with me, Sid, and uh, last episode, oops, I'm having a barbecue here, um, we came over uh, in a brand new gyrocopter to a building I've had a flag on the map for a while, Is that, that must be, I think that's the bear trap, just looking at the that building up there. I'm fairly certain that's the bear trap that you go in, then, then the bears are in there, yeah. That is definitely the bear trap. Um, we came over in our brand new drive capture to this building over here, which we have never, or at least I don't think I've ever done before. Um, which is Town Hall. You can tell by the label on the front. And uh, my plan today, because we're very close to Horde Night, is uh, to... Oh, hello. How are you, madam? Oh, come on. Uh, yeah. Early day. I've, I've just logged in, honest. That's uh, that's the reason for things. Oh, so there is a definite basement. That's useful to know. Um, yeah, uh, before we go and do the tier 5 quest we've got marked on our map, which... Yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to doing, but it's going to be a toughie because it's a tier five quest, and in my experience, tier five quests often take a couple of days to do. So, but I want to start something that I can't finish. So, we're going to have a look at this little spot, and yeah, well, the entrance is obviously going. Oh, come on. That wouldn't work if I'm playing Ramiro mod. Anyway, this, so the plan is to try and do this little place. Just going to check that my recording is not doing any herky-jerky badness before I continue, and I shall be back in a second. All seems good. Um, I turned my mouse sensitivity down as well for this because my I think my problem with aiming was partially due to the fact that my mouse sensitivity was turned up. Uh, hello, who's texting? Go. We done? I've definitely not done this before. There's a dog. Sounds like it's outside, actually. Don't be a dog horde, don't be a dog horde. Uh, oh, no, it's. Well, there's definitely a fellow there. Oh, and there's a crawler. He was ducking and weaving. And, uh,. I don't know where this dog, I don't know whether that was an ambient effect or not, but we've definitely got a horde over here to deal with, so let's deal with this before we get sidetracked. It'll give me a little bit of target practice, get my hand back in. Hi! Keep your eye on what's going on around you. Yeah. 
The objective here, of course, is to practice the headshots before I have to do it for real in the Ramiro mod. Okay. Still one left. Right, there we go. That over, let's head back to doing what we were doing, which was, of course, was um, the police station town hall. Because time is ticking and that does not help. Now, I'm fairly certain there is a doggy in here somewhere. Gun rack there, that's nice. What has not been satisfactorily explained to me? Oh, that's locked. So I don't need to worry about that particularly. Nothing. Quick searchy search. A bit of tuna. Don't mind if I do. I am going to just oh the god damn zombies all right back out again I'll be back in a moment all right we're back and oh hello sheer reflex and I also realised the pointlessness of shutting that door when uh, this window smashed doesn't appear to be anything in that way there's a, a rabbit having a very bad time out there um, but other than that a few bits of deskage to search there's nothing really worth that I'm that desperate. I'm going to shut that behind me. That will at least give me a bit of warning. If anybody decides to come and join us. What is that? Let me just see if there's another way into that before I start beating the... Doesn't look like it. I think I'm going to go in. Might go back and do that other one as well. Didn't see any Zeds in here, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to trust you not to just spawn some right on top of me. Okay, equipment rack. I do love these new models. That's a sellable thing. We'll take that for now then, seeing as we've got the armour. Those are sellable. That can be scrap. An empty now, an empty gun rack, okay. And it's a, a leather poncho, but I think it's pro oh no, it's blue, okay. There is definitely a definitely a dog out here somewhere. Okay, let me just um But I've known the one, I mean obviously we've heard the the panting sound which makes absolutely no sense by the way because you know why would why would a um, an undead zombie dog breathe he's definitely in here somewhere and ooh, a small pile of food well, I suppose better than kick in the face. Okay. Let us continue, shall we? And see what's what. Why is there... You can't climb them. You know, when you see these things, you're just like, that's suspicious. What is that for? That was one of those moments. Oh, 
Oh, well, I didn't actually have to go through there at all. Okay. Let's see what else the world's got for us then, shall we? Locked. I'm going to shut this door up so I can investigate in here. Quietly. Well, they sell. Did they ever die on them? But it was blue, yeah. I know I'm kind of obsessing about black dye, which is, is it pointless, but... Oh, looks like someone had to eat his own... Uh... Yeah, how did that guy's legs get? It makes zero sense. I mean, there's nothing in here with him to do the eating. Eh, I suppose it's not the worst false narrative that we've ever seen. Ooh, hello. Oh, I see. It doesn't go anywhere, but you can get a can of soup, which is really good. Okay. Definitely not a stiff. There's an awful left of a lot of it is just the difference that they, the way that they um, are positioned on the floor. Sometimes it's fairly obvious. Just realise this is a police station. That means there should be a very high chance of having cop zombies in here. Oh, wonderful. But, surprisingly... There is definitely a dog in here, though. All right, let's do a quick search, see what we got. Blood, not bothered. Yeah. Take it, bin it later. <laughs> that could be the mantra, shouldn't it? I'll take it and I'll bin it later. I don't want any of that. Anything likely? Well, we could have a look in the toilets, I suppose. If I were a zombie prisoner, I'd definitely have jars of water stashed in my toilet. What would be ironic is if we find a pistol in one of these, because... Oh, you can't reach that one. Because, of course, that would be Im imply... Can I reach through the bars, I wonder? No. Well, that was disappointing. Right, let's carry on. Yeah, having the story maintain a level of rational suspension of disbelief for me is how the earth do I get sense stairs makes perfect sense yeah having a rational suspension of disbelief in the story is is actually still pretty important for when you're doing level design you know having an eaten corpse in an area where there is nothing that could have done the eating and there's no way that anything that could have done the eating could have got out because it's locked it's fairly minor um, I've just noticed there's a um, I can't think of the name of the game, that's a new crafting adventure game where you keep going down to a hostile alien planet 
in a drop pod. Um, hang on a second, I've got to find out now. Just let me check. That was it. Icarus, this new alien planet crafting game. Um, now, there's a bit of controversy over it anyway because apparently it is linked. I was going to just check the ceiling. Those are not ceiling tiles that could have anything above them. Um, it is linked to a game designer who has previously stiffed people. Um, I can't remember his name. And I don't really care because I'm not overly enamored by the game. Because it, the game advertises itself as um, dropping down onto a hostile alien planet. Now, the alien planet is terraformed, but the, uh, the terraformers have vanished or some such bull. Um, and consequently, you know, you've got this alien planet, it's supposed to have it's supposed to be terraformed, it's supposed to be hostile, and yet for some reason I see you. That would not have helped me. Oh, we got her though. So consequently, you've got this strange alien planet, as I'm saying, and one of the biggest danger on it is wolves and bears. I mean, the fauna all looks like, um, sorry, the, yeah, the fauna. I was about to say I've got that the wrong way around, but it's not, though. I've definitely got it the right way around. The fauna always all looks, is all, terrestrial creatures, wolves, bears, deers, the flora, the actual trees and everything are all terrestrial trees, firs, everything, everything on this planet is basically terrestrial. Ooh, a book we haven't read and a book we can sell. We'll come back to that in a second. And uh, a couple of books we can sell. Okay, that's fine. Anything else? There's a door over here I want to have a look at. And that immediately to me just completely destroys any suspension of disbelief that you could have hoped for. I really do feel like that dog is very close. Okay, well, we've got a glass of water. Okay, we'll use it. Um, you know, if it's an alien planet, make it bloody alien. Don't use stock assets of stuff you'll find on this planet. It just, it's just late, lazy. That's what it is. Uh, you fall up to fifteen minutes. Makes absolutely no sense. Where is that? It detected me and has basically lost interest. That's fine. Yeah, it's, it's just lazy to me. Um, so, not getting my greatest attention as a potential purchaser of 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 games metal detectors again don't see any to see an equipment rack there oh wow I'm not sure which is. I mean, the axe seems to be doing more damage. Yeah, it didn't, didn't, didn't wow me. I think is probably 
Well, there's nothing on it anyway, you get. Okay, get rid of the glass. Oh, I meant to get rid of you as well. You're supposed to be in the storage. Damn it. Eh, nothing. Handy. Right. Back to it. This stinks of ambush. <laughs> Definitely stinks of ambush. Nothing there. Nothing back there. Still can't get in there. The dog's over this direction somewhere. No. Oh, hello. Let's just shut that, shall we, a second, and go and have a look what else there is. Oh, something's coming. I'll teach you to try and sneak up on me. A surprise, I was expecting there to be trappage there. Intriguing. Okay, let's just go and have a little bit of a look further before we woke him up again. Keen on. He's got to be virtually over the top of me. Oh, hello. Shush. Shush pooch. Right, let me get in here proper and have a, a good look. Because there was the irradiated. Oh, he's come from... A... He's come from outside. So it was outside. I hunted high and low for that dog. Alright. Yeah, so suspension of disbelief. Important, I think, in any game design. And uh, as, I, as I have ass asserted, I personally feel... But that one seems somewhat lazy. Now, I haven't seen one of those in ages, which has been really nice. All right, let me just very quickly do a little place to put a road sign, but who am I to uh, uh, comment, eh? Right, there's a little, oh, that's a DMV. I would explain the stench of uh, of loss of hope and waiting. Well, quite frankly, yeah, there's, there's places where they're missing obvious traps. Uh, yeah, scrap it and uh, scrap it. It's not really much use for anything. There's a bag up there I just spotted. Grab that. I'm going to use those just to free up some space. And we'll uh, put that back up there and scrap those. 
uh, we might as well use that to free up a little bit of space as well every little bit of every little helps as the, uh, as the saying goes I don't know how big this this actual thing is oh no not that how big this town hall is but it's 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 been impressive so far and then we'll use you just to keep our water topped off and get rid there we go always check the garbage can you never know what you'll find that's right to be fair I rarely check the garbage can because I actually don't care that much uh, okay definitely There's any Zeds that are probably behind any of these walls. We can't easily go that way. There's one. That sounds a bit closer. No, nothing in there. Doesn't appear to be anything in here either. Okay. Well, it take your good fortune where you find it. Did I see one over there? Was that just a chair? I think it's just a chair. Get. <sighs> hmm. I'm glad I've got the parkour skill. That that would have probably been really nasty if I'd have not had that. Alright, so now we need to balance a little bit more. Oh, another businessman there. And again, nothing. Uh, just drop it. Don't bother about scrapping it. The loot will hopefully be interesting for this. Again, ceiling is not too fit. It's nice when you can see that there's no space above the ceiling because that means you don't have to worry about anything unexpected coming I mean, and biting your face off. Of course, the fun problem, let me close that, the fun problem with the stealth build is that in these dark areas, it's actually not ideal. Oh, so we can get... Now we can get into the lift. Okay. Uh, before I start going getting into the lift, let me just clear this. Sweep and clear. As make sure everything... It must have been the mayor. This looks like the mayor's office. There's a safe. So we'll definitely have a... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Now I can stick a silencer on the maggot on the um, desert vulture if I want to, uh, and a couple more things. That's um, I'm not sure about the value of silencing either of these heavier caliber weapons, but let's uh, see what they have in the wall, shall we? Uh, a tier 4 marksman it'll sell and some ammo ok how the hell did he get a tier 4 marksman in that <laughs> again suspension of disbelief fellas maybe having some kind of size indicator of the items that you, you've got so you know we can uh Oh, 
all this supply. Oh, of course. Oh no, we're not on. A, we're not in a mission. I'm just looking at it going. Oh, well, I forgot that I'm supposed to be looking for supplies. Uh, hello. And back up and up. Right, let's carry on. Let's see what this has to help give us. It's six o'clock, so we are running short on time now. But that is fine. Nothing, nothing on that little outcrop. Sometimes they like to do that. They like to put a little bit of, um, of, of happy valuables up there. Attic space. This is not dangerous at all, is it? That's a, a chewed on corpse. But that don't mean there aren't any Zeds. Something chewed on it, well, at least if the narrative. I see you. Second zombie. I did. Those are trap items, because they are just, and they're the best, one of the best kinds of traps, because of course, you know, you, you see them as um, scenery and, and rubbish, whereas they're actually things that break and make noise. Not that there was anything to attack us, which seems odd. Okay, where now? That's not any, that's just the hole in the ceiling. Okay. Oh, okay. Where are you? Crap, 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 crap. Now I realise that that was not a controlled <laughs> response at all. But that thing scared me. I also... Have to remember. You also have to remember that there are no. Um, I don't think. Well, I'm fairly certain there's no special zombies in the Ramira mod. They're all just shamblers. Um, some of them have a little bit more hit points than others, but they do all just shamble around. So this puts us out here. We are fine. It's um, we've completed, or at least we will have once we have looted the loot. Uh, and we've actually gone through. This was actually a nice... Um, we'll take that. I don't bother about the rest. Anything else? Hiding before we start on the boxes. Shamway box. Uh, right, we can take that and use that. Uh, we might as well scrap those. We're not going to use the bow and arrow. Uh, stiff spots. What 
we'll scrap it. So we're not steel, we'll take those. And we can well, we'll scrap it as well. Mm, that's actually nicer. Iron shovel is a six, but we'll scrap because it's and we'll scrap. Got a weapons bag. And then we can scrap them. They're not whoops. Okay. I've got nothing there were nothing in the everything's in the queue is is scrapping down. Okay, that's fine. Oh hello. Alright, I'll be back in a moment. All right, we are here. Uh, I think I finished scrapping things, so I can now scrap that as well. Um, let's see what's in here. What do we got? An iron spear, tier five. It's, yeah, it's nice, but it's also scrap. Steel leg armor. That is. That's a cells. That's a keep. A keep. A keep. Uh, a burning shaft mod. Um, no jokes. I need to clear some space. We'll have the machete. Uh, machete. Yeah, it's probably sellable. Take those. And then we've just got this burning shaft mod, which is the one thing we need to find a room for. Uh, let's use. We needed to eat anyway, so. And scrap. And take. So I think. We're going to uh, probably spend the remainder of the, the night. I mean, I could quite easily try and push back um, back over to the um, the base, get the old, you know, gyrocopter and fly over. But I can stay out here quite easily, I think. And uh, maybe even have a little hunt for a few sneaky trick ways down if we can find one I don't know whether we'll find one there's that rabbit that's been giving us so much grief um yeah but I think on that note we're going to call this one an episode I will probably get uh, well I'll probably start here next episode and uh, we'll deal with the horde night and then we can move on to the tier five quest over there may fly past it just to see whether it's something other than a shamway factory I'd like a um, shotgun messiah to be honest so yeah we'll see how we go but until then thanks for watching guys I will see you soon bye for now